So, hi children. In that previous video, we discussed up to fundamental number theory, right? So, in this video, we are going to start that new concept that is squares and square roots. Okay. In that further classes also, you can see that so many problems related to that squares and square roots. Okay. So, see this one very carefully. Listen. So, see here, what about that is squares? So, square means what? So, first, what is the definition of a square? Okay, so here a number which can be expressed as the product of a number which can be expressed as the product of two factors. Those two are two equal factors. Okay, then that number is said to be a square. Okay, what again once again I am saying that what is that here a number which can be multiplied itself by two times. Okay, a number which can be multiplied by itself by two times, then its product is called square. It that product is called square. So here just to say that for example n is there, n we can express it as m into m. For example, I am saying here n is a number, n can be expressed as the product of m into m. Then we will call that n is a square of okay n is a square or perfect square also we will say i will tell that one later just say that so in this form which one we can write for example take that 4 for example take that 4 so 4 can be written as 2 into 2 so a number which is multiplied itself by two times so a number which can be multiplied same number is multiplied itself by two times then its product is said to be a square then that product is said to be a square okay so that is the definition for square so what about that perfect square So, we learnt about that square, but what about that perfect square? Here, a number which can be expressed, okay, a number, a possible number which can be expressed as a product of two equal factors, then we will call that number as a perfect square. So, what is the difference between those two definitions? What I said about that square and perfect square, what is the difference? Here nothing difference is there. Just to say that here I am saying that when you take the product of two equal factors, its product is called square I am saying. Here I am saying that if you take that any number, this number can be expressed as the product of two equal factors. Just to converse I am saying. Okay, but those two also having that same meaning, whatever it may be here 4 is a square as well as we will call that one as a perfect square okay so here we can say that 9 is there so 9 is a perfect square or not yes a 9 which can be expressed as the product of two equal factors what are those yes 3 and 3 so 3 into 3 is equals to 9 no here so a number which can be expressed as the product of two equal factors then we will call that number as a perfect square Okay, and in the same way, the product of two equal factors, the product of two equal factors is called a square. Okay, so perfect squares we are saying. So, what is the square of one? One square, what is that value here? Let us see squares or perfect squares. squares or perfect squares so we know that one square one into one first starting with one i am taking so one into one we can write this one as one square its value is one one square value is one next take that two is multiplied by itself then we can express this one as a two square its value is equals to four yes or no next 3 is there, 3 is multiplied itself by the same number, then here 3 into 3 is equals to, we can write this one as 3 into 3 is equals to 3 square, which is equals to 9, okay, so here I am saying no square, 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 this one only squares, okay, so see here next one 4 into 4, this is a 4 square, Okay, 4 square means a number which can be multiplied itself by 2 times. 1 square. Square means the same number should be multiplied by itself. That's why I said that these all are that squares. 
okay so which is equals to 4 4 so 16 next 5 5 into 5 is equals to we can write this one as a 5 square so that is nothing but a 25 okay and in the same way we can write that uh, squares for that any number right what is the greatest natural number we can't say that right so in that uh, squares also we can write that uh, so many numbers and we can take that it's a uh, squares also okay so see here I will tell you that uh, some other squares also here we have to learn up to 20 squares okay 20 squares you have to buy her that without simplifying that whenever we will ask you anybody will ask you that one question what is that square of 17 what is the value of 7 square of 17 what is that value do you know that its value is 289 okay without thinking you have to say that one so you have to buy her this all square roots uh, sorry squares up to 20 sufficient if anybody want to learn more than 20 then up to 30 sufficient afterwards that is depends on your interest only okay so next one 6 square so 6 square value is 36 next is 7 square that is 49 8 square 64 9 square 9 nines 81 10 square which is 100 so this is up to 10 squares next 11 square 11 square is 121 12 square which is equals to 144 13 square which is equals to 169 14 square which is equals to 196 15 square which is equals to 225 okay so after that 16 square 16 square is equals to 256 17 square is equals to 289 next 18 square is equals to 324 19 square is equals to 361 okay 20 square is equals to 400 so up to 20 very very important you have to buy her this all once again say that just a square of a number means we have to multiply the same number itself by two times so see here one square is one two square is four okay three square is nine four square 16 five square 25 6 square 36, 7 square 49, next 8 square 64, 9 square 81, 10 square 100. Okay, after that, 11 square is 121, 12 square is 144, 13 square is 169, 14 square is 196, 15 square is 225. Okay, afterwards, 16 square is equal to 256, 17 square is equal to 289, 18 square is equal to 324, 19 square is equal to 361, and the last 20 square is equal to 400. So, up to 20 squares you have to buy her it. Okay, in your sleeve also, if anybody will ask you, means you have to say that one. Okay, that much of practice you have to do it on that squares. Why? Because this is also very important. Which topics we are discussing now, those all are very, very important concepts only. Okay. So, these all are that squares of that numbers up to 20s. But these all are having some properties, no? Okay. So, we will discuss now properties of a perfect squares or properties of square numbers. Okay, let us see that. Properties of perfect squares or squares okay so what is that first property okay here every some of them having that some properties no every number having some properties i said so like that only here squares also having some properties so what is the first property means a perfect number a perfect square not a number a perfect square never ends in perfect square never ends in 2 3 7 8 so what is the meaning of that sentence a perfect square never ends in 2 3 7 8 so what is the meaning of that sentence yes which means here a perfect square which one we are saying that is a perfect square that perfect square should not be having any one of the digit from that 2378 in its units place in its units place which means just now i written here up to 20 squares right so i'm going to write that 19 square so 19 square is equals to 361 only no okay so here the last digit what is this 
last digit is 1. So, 18 square that is 324. Okay, here the last digit is 4. Next, 16 square that is 256. Okay, so when you observe that these all squares, every square number is having that is some other digits in its units place other than 2, 3, 7, 8. Okay, if for example here the given number is 742. 742. Here, my question is the given number is a perfect square or not? Okay, here which number I given that is a perfect square or not? How you can check this? Here, simply by using this, uh, sorry, by using this point, you can say that given number is a perfect square or not. Okay, how means to say that? What I am saying, a perfect square never ends in, which means its units place does not have that any one of the digit from 2, 3, 7, 8. Okay, here 2 is there, you know, that's why simply we can say that this is not a perfect square. Simply we can say that this is not a perfect square. Okay, 9, 7, 6, 4, 5, 8. Okay, like this one of the number is there. That is 9,76,458. One of the number I given, I asked you that this is a perfect square or not. Okay, how you can check? For checking that we have some methods, but it depends on this point I am saying. We have some methods we will discuss later. But here my question is, by using this point, how we can say that? Okay, so here, no, no need to say that these all digits, this, this total number no need to say. Just we have to say that which digit is there in its units place. Which digit is there in its units place. Okay, depends on that one we can say that. Here, in its units place we are having 8, no? In its units place we are having 8. So, 8 is there in this list or not? Yes, 8 is there here. That's why this is not a perfect square. That's why given number is not a perfect square. For example, here 576 is there. 576. Is this? This number is a perfect square or not? I asked you that this number is a perfect square or not. How you can say that? Yes, again you have to check that the last digit 6. Last digit 6 is there. So, in this group 6 is there here. In this group 6 is not there. Here, why I given this one? Means here 576 I given. If any number is ending with a 1, 3, like that any number is there. See, except this list, we are having the other digits of 1. And here the missing one is 4. Another one is 5. Next is 6. Next is 7 is there. 8 is there. So, next one is 9. Next one is 0. My question is, if the number is ending with any one of the digits 2, 3, 7, 8, then we are saying that is not a perfect square. What about that? If the number is ending with any one of the digits from this group, that is a perfect square. Is that a perfect square? Not like that. Just this is one of that point what they are saying. Okay, that is in its units place any one of the digits is there means that is never be a perfect square. If these digits, any one of the digits is there from this group, okay, then also we can't say that that is exactly a perfect square. Okay, just we have one clarification. Yes, here 6 is there. So, we have to check that. Here 2 is there. Here 2 is there in its units place. So, no need to check that. Here 8 is there. So, no need to check that. But here 6 is there. 6 is there in this group. Okay, but don't be fixed that here 6 is there. That's why this is a perfect square. Okay, just we have a clarification. Here 6 is there. So, that's why that is maybe a perfect square. That is not exactly a perfect square. That is maybe a perfect square. Okay, so how to check that may, that is a perfect square or not? Later we will discuss that. Okay, for that point only I told you this one. Okay, so exactly don't depend on this one. Just any one of the digit is there from this list means you can decide that. Okay, what is that? Given number is not a perfect square. Okay, but here any one of the digit is there from this one means for example 10 is there. So 10 is ending with a 0. So in this group 0 is there. 10 is a perfect square. No, that is not a perfect square. Here in this place 0 is there. So we have to check for that. Okay, here just to say that 3, 3 is 9. Next, 4, 4 is 16. Next number I am saying. So here 9 is there, here 16 is there. In between 3 and 4 any other number exists? 
not exist no any natural number does not exist no here so that's why here in between 9 and 16 there is no 10 is not a perfect square no here okay so just here 0 is there so we have to go for the checking okay that is a perfect square or not okay so that is the first point next is second point okay next point is a perfect square a perfect square ends with a perfect square ends with even number of zeros even number of zeros okay so what is that next point a perfect number ends with even number of zeros ends with even number of zeros so for example here 100 zero, zero. 100 zero, zero. even number of zeros means here how many zeros are there two zeros are there two is an even number or not even number only no so even number of zeros next 100 zero, 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 zero. Okay, here how many zeros are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 4 is an even number or not? 4 is an even number only, no? So, this is also even number of zeros. This is also having even number of zeros. Next, what about that 1, 0, 0? Is this number ending with even number of zeros? No, why? Because 1, 2, 3. So here three zeros are there, three is odd number. So this number is having that odd number of zeros. Okay, so here this, uh, this one no need to say that. Why? Because this is easily we can say that a thousand is not a perfect square. Okay, why? Because this number is ending with odd number of zeros. Okay, so that's why here the condition is a perfect square should ends with okay must be ends with even number of zeros then only we can say that the given number is a perfect square here again my question is here two zeros there so we can say that this is a perfect square three zeros there so we can say that this is not a perfect square good here ten thousand is there maybe this is also having that four zeros even number of zeros so we can say that this is also a perfect square okay in all cases it is possible or not in all cases it is possible let us see one example here 200 is there 200 so this number is also having that two two zeros only no which means even number of zeros shall we say that this number is a perfect square is it possible to say that 200 is a perfect square no why because here just one of the property we are saying that if that is a perfect square how we can recognize means the last i mean last we are having that even number of zeros in that number if that number consisting of even number of zeros then we have to conclude that maybe that is a perfect square maybe that is a perfect square just like that previous question only maybe means here you have to check that that is a perfect square or not if that given number is having that odd number of zeros then easily we can say that that is not a that is not a perfect square easily we can say that that is not a perfect square is it clear okay so here every time this is not possible but that is a perfect square means it should have that even number of zeros here 100 is there 100 is a perfect square or not yes obviously 100 is a perfect square 100 we can express it as 10 into 10 so that is a perfect square or not so this is having that even number of zeros next 10,000 we can write this one as 100 into 100 100 into 100 is equals to 10,000. Okay, so this is also having that even number of zeros. So this is also we can say that that is a perfect square. But here every number is having some given numbers here. I am going to give that it um, like this I given. This is a perfect square or not? How you can say that? So again just to say that how many zeros are there? Just you have to count that how many zeros are there? okay so four zeros are there so maybe that is a perfect square exactly we can't say that that is a perfect square maybe that is a perfect square but here now we have to check that when this is a perfect square or not okay for example here two five zero 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 twenty five thousand is there 
okay here this is a perfect square or not here this is having three zeros no so easily we can say that this is not a perfect square okay next one seven double zero seventeen hundred okay so this is a perfect square or not just you have to see that here two zeros are there maybe that is a perfect square but you we know that that is not a perfect square maybe a perfect square that's why you have to check that after che after checking by using that methods okay you can conclude that that is a perfect square or not okay so that is that is second point a perfect square ends with even number of zeros okay next point so the next point square of the square of an even number is always even square of an even number is always even okay square of an even number is always even so what is the meaning of that square of an even number so 2 is an even number or not even number only no so 2 square is equals to 4 2 square is equals to 4 so 2 is an even number its square is also even number yes or no 4 is also an even number or not or 4 square 4 square is equals to 4, 4 is 16, 16 is an even number as well as 4 is also even number only no, so 4 is an even number as well as 16 is also an even number, so the squares of even numbers is always even, okay, if you take that 18 square, we are having that 324, so 324 is an even number or not, even number only, next 18 square, 18 is an even number or not, 18 even number only, okay so that's what i'm saying what is that square of an even number is always even so in this video what we discussed up to now so first we discussed what is the definition of a square and a perfect square it's a difference uh, i mean there is no difference but uh, there is a little bit of difference there in the definition so you have to read that properly so after that what we discussed the properties of uh, perfect squares so today homework is you have to write that notes better to prepare the notes based on that squares and square roots why because this is also important topic only so every time i am saying that one important important so think once okay so in that next video we are going to discuss that the continuation properties okay